Hey everyone, Kendall here. Today's video will be about converting your standard Windows PC into a Hackintosh. You will need the following devices in order to convert your existing PC to a Hackintosh. You're going to need some type of Apple device with OS X installed. You're going to need Unibeast, which can be found at TonyMacOSX86.com and a login to that website. You will need a spare hard drive to install OS X on. In this video I'm using a 2TB drive and then you will want an 8GB thumb drive or larger to use as a bootable USB installer. And then finally, some time available to perform the Hackintosh conversion. The nice thing about this Hackintosh is everything works without any special drivers or any additional KEX files. If you're using a Blue Yeti microphone like myself, the sound playback and microphone work flawlessly within Sierra. I recently upgraded to a Blue Yeti microphone for my YouTube videos and found that the Hackintosh has zero issues with the Blue Yeti. After installing Sierra on your separate hard drive and after you've logged into Sierra for the first time, it will recognize your PC as an iMac. This is more than likely due to the fact that your hardware being used is very similar to an iMac. Okay, let's get started. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, once you have your Mac operating system here installed, is go ahead and go to osx86.com by Tony Mac. He's the one who created this. Um, and he just does a great job. So once you're at the downloads here, you're going to scroll down and you're going to find Unibeast. And since we're using Sierra in this installer, we're going to want 7. And it even tells you on his website, hey, Unibeast is 7, uses Clover as a bootloader and supports macOS Sierra USB creation only. So we're going to go on ahead and click and download this USB uh, Unibe 7. If you don't have a login, this download now button won't be available and that's why I suggested that you uh, have a login to this website. So uh, we'll go ahead and download it. It shows up here that it's downloading it. All right, once it's done, we'll go ahead and launch Unibeast. We're going to allow it and click open. We trust it, we're going to continue, we're going to continue, hit continue again. There's a lot of that, continue and agree through this process. Okay, you should have your USB drive that um, I was explaining at the beginning of this video inserted into your PC. You're going to go ahead and click on it and click continue. It's going to ask you what OS, we're doing Sierra in this tutorial, so go ahead and click continue. Um, either mode, UFI or legacy will work. Uh, if you use U UEFI boot mode, you won't be able to automatically choose a boot menu once you get into uh, your BIOS as an example, like it doesn't have a bootloader uh, uh, if you use UEFI. If you use legacy boot mode, it will work. Um, I personally don't use my Hackintosh 24-7, so I'm going to select UEFI boot mode because if I need a boot to it, I can just hit the F8 keyboard on my motherboard and it'll allow me to choose what device I want to boot into. So we'll go ahead and click continue. Um, inject ATI and inject NVIDIA. As you can see, it's telling you, hey, you want to check this box if you have a specific graphics card that's made by ATI in this 4000 range, as an example. And then uh, inject NVIDIA if you have an NVIDIA video card in this example. I'm running a NVIDIA 960 and I don't need to check either one of these. Go ahead and click continue. We just have three options selected. Hit continue again. It's going to ask you to type in your password and then you're going to click OK. Um, I'm not going to click OK in this tutorial because I've already created the, the thumb drive and it's just to save a bunch of time you guys having to watch that process. But basically after you get done, what happens is it creates a thumb drive that looks exactly like this. It has one file here. It has an EFI backups folder, and that's all there is to creating your bootable USB thumb drive. Um, there is some settings that you need to do in your BIOS next on this particular motherboard in order to be able to get to boot your PC into this USB thumb drive. If you do not do this process, I 100% guarantee you, you will not be able to get into your thumb drive and you'll just be very frustrated. So. Um, We'll go ahead and turn off this PC now. We're going to shut it down, and then uh, I'll go ahead and show you the settings that we need to do in the BIOS. Okay, on this specific motherboard, I've hit F2, and now I'm in the BIOS. I went ahead and clicked Advanced Mode here, and uh, what you're going to want to do is under the CPU configuration, you're going to want to click on CSM, 
and then you're going to make sure it's enabled and then below that you have UEFI and legacy you want to make sure those are both set in that setting there you're going to back out and right below that is secure boot under secure boot it's going to have windows in there i've already changed it to other os so we'll change it back to windows and then in here there's a key you just need to delete that key and then after you do that it'll di disable the secure boot and then uh, go ahead and change your windows there to other os and then just back out of it and then we'll go ahead and exit and save our settings um, it's just going to verify and then it's going to reboot so um, the thing I didn't show is I hit F8 on that and uh, what I did is that allowed me to get to that uh, USB drive and that USB drive then allowed me to click the USB drive from that menu. I went ahead and clicked next and um, this is pretty standard practice on a Mac. I'm basically formatting the hard drive here and it's going to fail the very first time. I've tried this a dozen times and it always fails the first time but just go ahead and rename it the second time to go through the same process and it will format the drive uh, correctly. All right, so now we're done formatting the drive. We're gonna go ahead and continue. It's gonna give us an, a, li a license agreement here. We're just gonna go ahead and click okay to it. And then we're gonna select that Sierra hard drive that we named to install it on. This takes about 15 minutes as you can see here. Uh, just go ahead and get a cup of coffee or something and come back. I've obviously sped it up for the video and uh, it's gonna get done here. And then after it gets done, it's gonna ask you to restart. So when I restart, I'm hitting that F8 again on my keyboard, and that's allowing me to get to the boot menu. I decided to show that boot menu in my motherboard in this screen, and we're going to select the UEFI Lexar USB flash drive. All right, and then it's going to go ahead and boot back into that. And then what I'm going to select here is the actual Sierra hard drive that we went ahead and installed from, uh, from the thumb drive to the hard drive itself. So this is actually loading OSX from the hard drive. It's booting up. And as you can tell, um, I already went through the pre-configuration stuff and uh, standard Macintosh wizard basically and type in my password here and I'm logged in. So that's really all you have to do. Uh, it's really, really simple and I'm just really impressed with uh, Tony Mac and the simplicity of this installer. So. Um, Appreciate you guys for watching, and as always, hope you guys learned something. Thanks.